BYD just confirmed that their next generation blade battery is coming sooner than we thought in a few weeks. Actually, BYD is now bigger than Nissan, bigger than Honda, bigger than Ford. So, you have got coming out of China not just a low-cost EV maker, but an innovative, aggressive, competitive company. The electric vehicle industry is a battleground of innovation, and Chinese automaker BYD has emerged as a formidable contender. For a fleeting three months, BYD claimed the title of the world's top EV seller, surpassing even Tesla, the American juggernaut long synonymous with electric mobility. That reign, however, lasted just one quarter before Tesla reclaimed the crown. Yet, BYD is not retreating quietly. Far from it, they are doubling down with groundbreaking advancements that signal their intent to reshape the EV landscape. Recently, they unveiled their next-generation blade battery, a technological leap that is not just an incremental upgrade, but a potential redefinition of what electric cars can be. Paired with this, their latest EV platform boasts charging capabilities of up to 1 megawatt, a staggering milestone for passenger vehicles. This battery is safer, cheaper, and charges faster than anything we have seen, hitting an 80% charge in record time. Meanwhile, BYD has dropped another surprise, a flying car priced at a specific amount set to hit roads and skies by 2030. How did they achieve these breakthroughs and what do they mean for the future? Electric vehicles have transcended their status as a futuristic promise. They are here now, transforming how we drive. Every day, more people trade gas pumps for charging stations, lured by the dual appeal of cleaner energy and slashed fuel costs. In 2024 alone, global EV sales surged past 14 million units, a testament to their growing dominance. Yet despite this momentum, a persistent challenge looms large. Batteries. For decades, EV makers have wrestled with the same trio of problems. Charging takes too long, batteries degrade too quickly, and most critically, they are prohibitively expensive. These hurdles have fueled skepticism among potential buyers, slowing the transition from fossil fuels. Most electric cars today rely on lithium-ion batteries packed with materials like nickel, cobalt, and manganese. These metals pack a punch, storing ample energy to extend driving ranges. Think Tesla's Model S, clocking over a significant number of miles per charge, but the trade-offs are steep. First, there is cost. Nickel and cobalt are not cheap. Mining and refining them drives battery prices sky high. A single EV battery pack can cost a substantial amount, making electric cars pricier than their gas-powered counterparts. Second, safety is a serious issue. Nickel and cobalt-based batteries are prone to overheating, a flaw that can spiral into thermal runaway, a chain reaction of rising temperatures that in rare cases ends in fires or explosion. High-profile incidents like the 2021 Tesla Model S fire in Texas have kept safety concerns front and center. News outlets reported Tesla facing a potential investigation following several reports of vehicles catching fire, possibly because of lithium-ion batteries. Tesla also faced a potential lawsuit. Third, supply chains are highly complex. Cobalt, for instance, is mainly mined in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where ethical and environmental concerns complicate the process. Geopolitical tensions and limited reserves only compound the problem, leaving manufacturers vulnerable to shortages and price volatility. BYD, however, saw these cracks in the system and did not just patch them, they rewrote the playbook. In 2020, they launched the original blade battery, ditching nickel and cobalt for lithium iron phosphate, or LFP. This was not a minor tweak, it was a paradigm shift. LFP batteries solve the three significant issues in one move. Safety comes first. LFP is far less susceptible to thermal runaway. Unlike traditional lithium ion cells, BYD put this to the test with the nail penetration challenge, a brutal industry standard where a metal spike punctures the battery to simulate damage. Most batteries spark, smoke, or ignite. The blade battery barely flinched, enduring crushing, bending, and high heat without catching fire. 
Cost is the second win. Without rare metals, LFP batteries slash production expenses by up to 30%, trickling down to lower sticker prices for buyers. Finally, longevity. The blade battery endures a high number of charge cycles, equivalent to over 1.2 million miles for a typical EV. Traditional batteries fade after a lower number of cycles or less. Now BYD has raised the stakes with the next generation blade battery unveiled in early 2025. Energy density has climbed to 190 watt-hours per kilogram, a 27% jump from its predecessors. For context, that is closing in on premium nickel-based batteries without the drawbacks. More energy in the same space means longer ranges. Imagine a BYD Han EV stretching its range closer to 450 miles. Charging speed is another leap. It hits 30% to 80% in 30 minutes with a high-power DC fast charger rivaling Tesla's superchargers. The secret is less heat generation during charging thanks to refined chemistry and structural tweaks which boost efficiency and preserve battery life. So, how did BYD pull this off? Well, it's really the culmination of over a decade of research and development, fine-tuning raw materials, optimizing cell design, and, you know, leveraging their end-to-end -end supply chain. Unlike Tesla, which outsources some battery production to other firms, BYD controls every step, mining, refining, assembly, slashing costs, and accelerating innovation. This is not just a win for BYD, it's honestly a wake-up call for the EV industry. Titans like Tesla, Volkswagen, and General Motors have built empires on nickel and cobalt-based batteries. Tesla has experimented with LFP for entry-level models, like the Standard Range Model 3, but they are still playing catch-up on in-house production. Volkswagen's ID series and GM's Ultium platform are deeply entrenched in traditional tech, with factories and supply chains tuned to cobalt and nickel. Switching to LFP or matching BYD's blade battery would mean retooling at a cost of billions and, uh, years. A risky bet when profits are already thin. Meanwhile, BYD's breakthroughs, cheaper cars, safer batteries, faster charging, could really tilt the market. Governments, too, are watching. With policies like the EU's 2035 gas car ban and U.S. tax credits pushing EV adoption, regulators might soon demand similar efficiency and safety standards, putting competitors on the defensive. While BYD had already cemented its dominance on the world's roads with its best-selling electric vehicles, the company's ambition always saw far beyond the pavement, in a move that surprised industry analysts and, honestly, captivated the public, BYD has boldly unveiled a prototype for a fully functional flying car, aggressively priced at approximately $140,000, with concrete plans for a commercial launch by the year 2030. This is a crucial distinction. This is not a fanciful concept designed for billionaires or a vanity project for the elite. Instead, it is conceived as a practical, electric-powered aerial vehicle for the urban masses, aiming to democratize the skies. Designed with the constraints of dense megacities in mind, the vehicle boasts a compact footprint, with a specific size of roughly 20 feet in length and a wingspan of 25 feet. It is intentionally designed to be compact enough for urban use. Its key enabling technology is its short takeoff and landing capability, which liberates it from the need for traditional runways. Instead, it can seamlessly transition between driving and flying modes from a standard parking lot, a helipad, or even a suitably sized clear field, integrating directly into the existing urban fabric. Its performance metrics are meticulously calibrated for the city hop commute, not for cross-country treks, with a projected cruising speed of 180 miles per hour, a range of 155 miles on a single charge, and an operational altitude of around 1,500 feet, it is built to efficiently conquer metropolitan scale distances. Imagine effortlessly traveling from downtown Shanghai to the gardens of Suzhou in under 30 minutes, completely bypassing the infamous ground-level traffic snarls. At the heart of this innovation is BYD's core expertise, electrification. 
The flying car is powered by multiple high-torque electric motors, drawing energy from an advanced, ultra-safe lithium-ion battery pack. This pack is likely a derivative of BYD's revolutionary blade battery technology, renowned for its exceptional safety and energy density. Charging from empty to full is estimated to take about an hour using a specialized fast charger, and there are whispers of integrated lightweight solar panels on the vehicle's surface to provide auxiliary power and extend its range marginally. To ensure accessibility for a new generation of pilots, BYD has prioritized user friendliness and safety. The vehicle features sleek, retractable landing gear that stows away seamlessly during flight to reduce drag and noise. An advanced, computer-controlled automatic stabilization system manages much of the complexity of flight, counteracting turbulence and maintaining a smooth, predictable trajectory. The cockpit itself is designed to be beginner-friendly, dominated by a minimalist interface and likely relying heavily on automated flight planning and obstacle avoidance, lowering the barrier to entry from a professional pilot's license to something more akin to an advanced driver's certificate. This isn't just a new product, it is BYD's ambitious vision for the next logical step in urban mobility, bringing the freedom of flight to the everyday community.